Since you guys like watching Blackmore videos, I thought you might also like to read about the man in black and his various exploits. Over the years, I have collected a bunch of books regarding Purple Rainbow Blackmore, and I thought I'd summarize them or review them a little bit to help you choose. Now, these are not all the books in the topic, but I think most of them. And a lot of them are published by Weimer Publishing in the UK. They are not sponsoring this video, no one is sponsoring this video, uh, but I will put the links in the description if you would like to buy any of them. And those are not even affiliate links. You can only support my channel basically via Patreon. But I digress. The other thing I wanted to <laughs> quickly promote here is that if you like to hear old stories uh, about Blackmore Rainbow Purple, I have two video interviews, one with Blackmore's old friend Stuart Smith and the other is with Blackmore's x -Tech Cookies. So go and check them out before you buy any books. Obviously, I have to start with Jerry Bloom's biography of Blackmore. Now, this is not an autobiography. Blackmore didn't write it, had nothing to do with this. It was written by Jerry Bloom, but it is a great book. A little thick or, or long, uh, and that is sort of my only critique, uh, is kind of big, and uh, it has a lot of information from the very early years, so the 60s before Deep Purple, and it was kind of tedious for me to read, but it might be interesting for you, that is just the one thing I would like to point out. Other than that, I think this book is amazing, it is absolutely a must read, if there's only one book you read about that more, this should be it, because it contains the most of the information regarding his career. Jerry Bloom wrote a bunch of other books, and uh, The Shadow of the Wizard, for example, is, is not a good one, I think, so it's on the other end of the spectrum. So, first of all, it's, as you can see, an A4 size, but the text in there is pretty continuous, so very hard to read because of the small letters as well. And a lot of the photos in there are kind of poor quality, which is not necessarily Jerry Bloom's fault. I know he can just only take whatever is available of those photos, but I know, maybe don't sell them or don't ask for money for a book with poor quality photos in there. So, so I, I don't recommend this one. This is another Jerry Bloom book. Uh, it's an okay one, I guess. Um, as you can see, it is called Deep Purple, A Matter of Fact. So it is not about the main or the core story of Deep Purple, but these are just funny stories, obscure facts or random facts. So it is basically just sort of an afterthought in a way that if you've already read everything, you can read this and might find some new stories or some interesting facts you didn't know about. Colin Hart's biography, A Heart Life, is not strictly about Blackmore, but as you know, he was the tour manager for both Deep Purple and Rainbow, so most of his experiences are tied to Deep Purple or Rainbow and Blackmore, of course. And the good thing in this book is that he was there personally, so you're not reading any second-hand recollections or not, not um, a secondary research, or basically not interviews, got together, but his first-hand experience told by himself. So I think for this reason, this is a great book. My only regret or the one thing that kind of makes me sad is Blackmore is portrayed in this book as sort of like a, a miserable, jealous, and uh, even petty and diva, sort of. So that wasn't that, wasn't that nice to read, but I guess that's how uh, Colin saw him. Light and Black was a little bit misleading for me in terms of promotion because it was kind of promoted as a, as a collection of interviews. But it's not the full print of the interviews, but rather the interviews are cut and edited together to make up a continuous narrative, the continuous story of Rainbow. So I ended up really liking it because it's effectively the band members of Rainbow telling the Rainbow story in interviews. It is just edited together. So for that reason, I think it is a great book. The photos in there are not that great. They are kind of small. And, uh, and for photos, I'll definitely buy another book. I'll, I'll tell you which one in a second. But the other thing I would want to point out is the writer Martin Popov is, uh, is a journalist. And so he has the delusion that people care about his opinion. And this is very annoying because, because 
there's a lot of his opinions and readings of albums and then sort of stuff in this book and they are very not just annoying but outrageous just let me just tell you one he doesn't like rainbow on stage because the improvisations are too long in mistreated and and catch the rainbow so i are listening to rainbow then i don't think you you get the point by writing about rainbow but other than that like i said because of the band is telling the story throughout the interviews is a great book i would definitely recommend to read this so let's talk about photo books this is the holy grail of them i think and you can see it is a huge really thick book it is the disease deep purple photo book and there are photos in there not only about deep purple but uh i think it, it is a little pricey however when i got this two hours just flew by i just opened it up started looking at photos and two hours just flew by in a minute so it i really enjoyed it and i think you guys will also really enjoy it there are little stories narratives or, or maybe let's let's rather say comments uh, next to the photos to give you some context but it is very much about the photos not the story in there uh, the only drawback is that you already saw most of the photos in this book so it is obviously advertised as as rare and never before seen photos and might be a couple of those in there but because of the internet and facebook groups i think everything was already spoiled so chances are you've seen a lot of pictures for example what i really uh, wanted to see in there is the machine head recording session and i really really enjoyed the photos but the majority of them i already saw them online li online in one shape or form but all in all, if you would like to have these photos and just sit down with this book and and uh, and just read them and, and, and see them in, in very nice print, then, uh, then I think this is the book to buy. And, and yeah, another important factor is that the quality of the photos and the print, I think is very, very nice. This is a Japanese photo book. I'm not sure what it's called, but, but Rainbow something. And it has a lot of great photos from 76 to 84 but because it is a japanese book these photos are from the japanese tour so so if you look at photos from 76 it won't be all the photos from 76 around the world only from the gigs or maybe that only just one gig uh from the japanese shows so keep that in mind but other than that i think uh the photo quality are kind of good and they are always a bunch of uh, crappy photos in in every book well not that this is one but but this has some of them the majority of them i think is very good and also what's important is that they have or this book have a couple of really good close-up backstage shots of black wars gear so definitely worth it and i think it wasn't even that expensive but i think it it has to be flown from japan so i think i bought it maybe on ebay well hope you'll find it Visions of Rainbow I would categorize as a photo book. It does have some narrative in there and comments and, and stories. So it is kind of similar to Shadow of the Wizard, but I think it's much better. So if you're thinking of buying one or the other, this is the one I would recommend you choose. I think the photos are better in there, in, in here. And lastly, a book I don't have because it costs 600 pounds. <laughs> I think that's outrageous. But what I'm talking about is Ross Halfin's Blackmore photo book, which only has photos from the 80s onwards. And you might know, guys, that I like the 70s better. So that is another reason I didn't buy it. But of course, the price tag, uh, I, 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 I can buy a Mexican strat for that money. So anyway, my point here is if you would like to look at good or even great quality photos of Blackmore and you don't want to pay any money, you can check out different Facebook groups, but I think even better is to go to gettyimages.com, just search for Blackmore Deep Purple or Rainbow and look at those images. You can download them because they cost a fortune, which is again, quite outrageous. And they of course have watermarks in it, but you can look at them online and the feeling is there. So hopefully this whole video was helpful. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any of the books, uh, if you would like to buy any of the books or, or whatever your experience with, uh, with any of these books. So once again, thanks for watching.